There's only 10 days left to the end of November. <laughs> and let me explain something real quick before I talk about the new artist that I discovered for myself that I love and admire now and they have great futures. Um, and let me know what new artists I'm missing, what new artists you're rocking with. Put them in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and notification bell. Comment new artists of 2023, not came out in 2023, that you discovered in 2023. Share your list with me because I might like some of the artists that y'all rock with, man. Y'all got to share. Y'all got to share the wealth. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about it, man. I'm going to just briefly speak on the artists that I'm rocking with since 2023 and uh, maybe roll off some album titles so y'all can go check them out. But uh, I'm serious. Go listen to these artists. And if you have some to share, like again, I said, share them in the comments, please. All right, let's talk about a new artist that I discovered in 2023 and they have been added to my roster of music that I'm listening to now and doing reviews on. So shout out to all these artists. We're going to go to Canada first. Highway 308 and it's, um, it's spelled H-W-Y 308. So Highway 308. I'm going to name off some projects. Like I said, I'm going to name the artists. Name off a couple projects so y'all can start off with and listen to. And then y'all let me know what artists I need to be tapped into. But Highway 308 from Canada. You got, uh, I'm a projects, Ducking Indictments. Go check that out. You got Ducking Indictments and I think he got an extended version. I think it's an EP and then I think he did a full version. And then you got S as in Slime. All right. And shout out to Lord Juco. It's Lord Juco. He ain't new to me, but he might be new to y'all. But Lord Juco's dope too. But he's affiliated with Highway 308. Uh, second artist I want to talk about is Napoleon the Legend. He got albums called Buckets, Asgard Saints, and etc. I know y'all. What's y'all favorites? That's another thing. When I name these artists, if you're aware of these artists, let me know your favorite albums or singles from this artist. Why not? Let's talk about uh, Breathless. Breathless number three is my um, the third artist that I kind of discovered in 2023. And again, these artists probably been out 10, 15 years, some, maybe one year, maybe five years. It varies. If I discovered them, I tripped over them. Now I'm listening to them, basically. So Breathless, shout out to Breathless. She's a great MC. Um, albums, Love Evolution. I actually broke that album down with her on my podcast, the THHC podcast, the hip hop connoisseur podcast. Check it out on this channel. So Breathless, she got Love Evolution. She got Reincarnation, A Quest from uh, Fear to Freedom. What a title. Go check out those, those uh, albums. Let's talk about Rome Mallory. Rome Mallory, dope MC. These are all dope MCs. You know, they're young, middle-aged. Some came back in the game. Uh, but uh, let's talk about Rome Mallory, man. Uh, the Breakthrough is an album that's great. Protect Your Inner Peace uh, and Into the Light, man. And uh, I believe I had, yeah, I have Rome Mallory on my program as well. So go check out that interview. Uh, e Murder. E Murder. Uh, e dash M U R D A. And uh, dope, dope rapper, too. Uh, Loyalty Makes You Related. That's an album. Uh, Only Up is an album from him. And Murder in the First Degree is an album that I recommend. So I'm just recommending albums and artists. And I want you to do the same. Please do. We, there's, a, there's enough money for everybody. There's enough money for everybody. All right? uh, Shots Are Mine is another artist. He teamed up with E Murder recently and did Loyalty Makes You Related. Tough project, really a good project. And he has another project called Post Release. Now, Shots on My, if you don't know, I interviewed him as well on the podcast. Uh, and, you know, Jim, he's Conway the Machine 
real brother, like his real brother. So, and he can rap, so that's dope. Uh, let's talk about Shorty No Mass. Shorty No Mass, I believe she's from Massachusetts area. Uh, Here Goes Nothing is a good record. And uh, worked, and she, well, she only has one record, one album. I just for the name. I thought I was gonna name another album. I think she's working on another one now. But she, if you want to know who Shorty No Mass is, she's worked with uh, De La Soul, R.I.P. to Dave, um, etc. She got singles and stuff like that. But she has the one album that I know of. Y'all let me know. She has more albums. Shorty No Mass. Uh, let's talk about J B. J A B E E J B. I actually interviewed him on four of his EP slash album. Well, four EPs that that he collided into an album. So the EPs are called. And shout out to J B. It's a great idea what he did. One of his albums is called M, and then it's I, and then it's Good Enough. So it's four projects that he created to an album, and they got different producers. It's it's, it's, it's really fire. Uh, Must Be Nice is another album. As It Is In Heaven is another album. And just, it's etc. I can't name every album of all these artists, but go check out JB. Uh, this is why I'm doing a video. Uh, next artist is Little Derek. Check out Little Derek. Young Buck, man, I interviewed Little Derek recently. Fun, fun uh, person to speak with. Uh, we broke down Tales of the 90s Baby on the THHC podcast. And he has another project called Derek the Dragon MC. He has various projects and singles. Go tap in. Now, the next artist is Fabian. Fabian. And the only reason I kind of... I tripped over him in a sense because I was listening to JR. Shout out to JR. And uh, they got a project called Ignorant Art. Ignorant Art Together. And uh, I looked into Fabian's uh, roster. He got Beyond... Easy, Beyond Easy is an album, and After Grace is an album. Let me know what y'all think about Fabian, man. Great, great uh, rapper. Next artist is Mike Shab. Mike Shab, I believe Mike Shab is also from, I think, is he from Canada? I think he's from Canada. I know you work with Nicholas Craven on Shadow Moses. And um, another album is Live at the uh, Tabernacle. I like that one. Uh, shout out to Mike Shab and Canada MCs and artists. Next artist is Peacemaker. Peacemaker, shout out to Peacemaker. He got Phantom of the Chopper. He got the Underground Heisman, you know. And he got Peace of Mind, etc. He got a lot of albums. Like, like I said, again, these artists have various singles and art and, and, and albums. So go tap in. I'm just giving you a little, giving you a little snippet. Uh, next um, artist is Shy Lethal. Shout out to Shy Lethal. She is a beast on the mic. I actually interviewed her and we uh, we broke down Jamaican Rude Gal, that album. She got another album called Lethal Versus. She had another album, another like mixtape. Go check out Shy Lethal, man. Stop playing. I'm telling you, man, she's a monster on the mic. All right, so next artist is Jamil Honesty. Uh, the God's Honest Truth is a great album. Harbor Kids, good, great album. I actually interviewed... Uh, Jamil Honesty for the God's Truth. We went over it. It's a great album. Uh, next artist is Love the Genius. Love the Genius. She's down with Conway the Machine and drum work. And uh, the Genius Tape. The Genius Tape. Shout out to the Genius Tape. Uh, shout out to Self Love 2. That it's like an EP type of album. And um, shout out to Green Lantern. Green Lantern did the, the Genius Tape with Love the Genius. And Love the Genius. Fierce. And I think she got, I think, yo, Love the Genius and Shay Noor got an album coming out. <laughs> I know they got a, a single or two. So that would be dope. Uh, speaking of great women in hip hop, I'm going to continue. C Red, C R E D. Our album, I'm Ready. Uh, album called Duty Calls. And uh, I love her. Go on, go follow, go follow everybody on Instagram and wherever they, they're at on, on uh, social media. Uh, C Red, she does these freestyles on Instagram. Fire, fire. So, speaking of uh, more uh, great women in, in hip hop and rap, Star, S T A H H R, and two H's is for hip hop. So, uh, she got an album called Mother Nature with a Molotov. 
Molotov Season. So go check out that album. I did review it. She rapped with MF Doom. So if y'all want to know who Star is, if y'all want to know who well, the female that's rapping with MF Doom on a lot of those albums, it's Star. So shout out to Star. All right. Going to Boston to go visit Goose De Niro. Uh, discovered him also in 2023. He got two albums out all about De Niro. One and two. So he did, you know, I don't know if he's going to do a third or change it up the next time. So shout out to Goose De Niro. And shout out to, uh, I think it was an artist named Taj Malik that told me about Goose De Niro. So shout out to, shout out to any Boston, Massachusetts artist. Hit me up, Boston, Massachusetts artist. You know what I'm doing. I'm doing something. I got some work. I, I ain't got to say that. I gotta, okay, okay, the next artist we'll talk about is uh, Water. And this is with two R's, W-A-T-E-R-R. Uh, another great artist, uh, The Policy Kings, great album, Truth and Falsehood Strangely Mixed, I like that title, um, let me know your favorite Water uh, album, you know, the next artist is Lex Lux, and we got X's, X's all over the place, so it's L-E-X-X-X-X, and then Lux, L-U-X-X-X-X, you know, so, uh, she a little raunchy, but I like her style. She can rap. I did interview her for her album, Plain English. So go check that out. And she got another one called Lex vs. The World that I like as well. Uh, next artist is Streets Soprano. Down with BSF Camp. Uh, I think he's been down with BSF Camp on the low for a minute. And, and no one, he just wasn't, I don't know, popping. But the albums now are popping and he's starting to... The shine he's starting to get is his, his um just do so street soprano it's called damn nothing lasts forever that's one album the other album i like is love pains and etc you got many albums you know he's been under bsf for a minute i i didn't even know i discovered him in 2023 uh another person i interviewed was uh an artist called lyrics lyrics uh he got judy's boy two and of course he got one he got uh samaj noel which is his name <laughs> backwards man when i interviewed him i was like what is this you know what's this mean and he was like oh it's just my name backwards i'm like oh my bad my bad he got us he got us so shout out to lyrics man uh next artist is chica c-h-i-k-a uh industry games is a good album and samson the album is another great album i think that's fairly new that's in 2023 that album dropped next artist is overcast and it's spelled o-v-r-k-a-s-t uh, took the album's reset, reset, and try again. And this, 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 he's also a producer. He's a producer. Some of these artists also produce too. They don't just rap. So uh, look into them. They can probably give you some beats or a verse, man. 16. But Overcast can do both. And uh, he produced for Drake. He produced for Drake. That's all I got to say. I ain't got to say that else. Uh, another person I interviewed was Heezy Hines. Heezy Hines, we dissected. Exit Wounds, that album, Exit Wounds, great album. Uh, and then He's Wise with Mike Wise. Mike Wise is another rapper, and he did an album with uh, Mike Wise. It's called He's Wise. That's kind of, that's dope. They use their names, and it makes sense. Uh, so, yeah, let's talk about Lord Mob. We're going to, <laughs> we're going to the Lord Mob, you know, center of New York, man. Uh, Stars. Coleman. Stars Coleman is from Lord Mob, and uh, he's a great addition to the to the to the posse, the group, or to the you know to the to the the business of Lord Mob. And Stars Coleman, I also had him on the show. We broke down which one? We broke down Beers versus Pitbulls, and uh, his other joint is called Fire, the acronym of Fire. And then the other one I reviewed was uh, They Became What They Hate. That album is serious. Go start with that one. I would tell you to go start with that one. Um, next artist is Vega 7, The Ronin. Vega 7, The Ronin. Album is called Mott. Is it Mott? Mott, Mott. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And Sleep is the Cousin. Um, these artists, I'm telling you, check out these artists and let me know what other artists I should be checking out. This is a, this is a lot of artists that I discovered myself and i discovered probably more i gotta remember if i discovered more on it i probably did and uh, i haven't written them down in my notebooks but the next artist is malls monday Sh shout out to malls monday and it's spelled m-a-l-z 
Monday. Let's talk about the albums Where There's Smoke. Dope album. And Look Both Ways. Another dope album. And he self-produces his albums as well. Y'all better go with some beats for Mars Monday. And y'all better get a 16 for Mars Monday. Uh, let's talk about it. Uh, next artist is The Miserable Genius. I actually interviewed him and we talked about his album Masculinity. Ooh, tough album. Tough album, Masculinity. Masculinity. Uh, he has another album called Mel- Melancholy. Melon- Melancholy. Sorry, Melancholy. So go check out uh, The Miserable Genius. Great, great artist as well. Next artist is Naps and Dreads. Naps and Dreads. I took off albums, of, you know, uh, photos from The Dark Room is an album that's interesting. And Super Brav. Super Brav, Naps and Dreads. What's your favorite album from Naps and Dreads, man? Great, great artist. A lot of people... Speaking about him, uh, he's going to come up. So, next artist, man, let's talk about it. DJ Kid Capri. Now, he ain't the new artist. I'm just joking around. But he just self-produced the hoodies. The hoodies. Uh, it's called Hidden Gems, the album. Yo, the hoodies. And it's two family members. Uh, it's not a father and son. Is it a father and son? I keep asking people, is it a father and son or uncle and nephew or something? But these guys, are uh, they are Hidden Gems. Dope MCs, dope rappers. They got bars on bars and bars. They got so many bars they build in prisons, man. You know, so shout out to the hoodies. Uh, next artist is Kamaya. Kamaya. And I discovered Kamaya by listening to Jay Worthy. Shout out to Jay Worthy. They got an album together called The American Dream. I, and Harry Fraud produces it. Shout out to Harry Fraud. Shout out to all the producers that I discovered in 2023 as well. <laughs> That's all I got to say. A lot of dope producers out there. But uh, Kamaya, man, uh, she is outstanding. She sings, she raps, she has melodies. Uh, the American Dream is a great album. She got the good, a good night in the ghetto. It's another album she got, and she got uh, get it made, not get it made, got it made. My handwriting, y'all gotta see this. Y'all see my handwriting? That's my handwriting. You can't, I can't, I can't read my own. <laughs> Can you read your handwriting? I know. But uh, yeah, uh, so shout out to uh, Kamaya. I believe she's from the West Coast. So shout out to her. Uh, the next artist is Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. Um, one of my neighbors uh, <laughs> introduced me to Jelly Roll. I ain't, I ain't know nothing about him. But uh, Ballads of uh, of the Broken. Great album. And Whitsit Chapel is another one. He has a lot of albums. Like, see, that's what I'm saying. He's one of the artists that I discovered this year. But he's been out... For like mad years, you know what I'm saying? So you can discover somebody and they got to have 20 albums. And you got to go down a rabbit hole with all the music. Uh, that's why I asked y'all, what's their best albums? So I could just, I could kind of like skip the line a little bit. If you got 20 albums, I ain't listening to 20 albums. You got, what's your best five, man? You know, at least. Uh, so shout out to Jelly Roll. Next artist is John Jiggs. And John Jiggs is spelt with a dollar sign at the end. So if you want to, you're looking for him, it's the dollar sign at the end. So John Jiggs dollar sign, Jigonometry one and two, and Grand Royal uh, are the albums y'all need to check for um, and more. Like I said, I'm just naming one or two, three albums, and then I'm telling you go listen to these artists. Next artist is Rufus Sims. Rufus Sims, man, woo! Rufus Sims can rap. Let's talk about his album House Arrest. Let's talk about his album Who Sent You. Woo! Who Sent You is Oh, his new album is House Arrest. And guess what? Chicago never forgot how to rap. And shout out to I Am God, another great MC. I didn't discover him this year. I discovered I Am God maybe two or three years ago. And he rose with Rufus Sims. So, I, you know, affiliation. Sometimes you get a good affiliation of someone rapping with you or in your city. And shout out to Rufus Sims, man. Uh, great, great MC. Now, I have one more. And it's it, it could be, it's, listen, there's millions of new artists. I know there's millions of new artists. There's millions of new talent or just people to, 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 to you know, listen to, to, to discover. Who have you discovered? That's all I need to know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, notification bell. Comment below, man. Last artist that I discovered in 2023. And I only got, there's only 10 days left. So I, I, how many more artists can I discover in 10 days? I probably can discover a lot. 
but I'm not really looking, <laughs> to be honest, right now. It's just, it's been a long year for rap and hip hop and a lot of quality rap and hip hop. But the last artist is Fugo Bass. Fugo Bass, he's down with BSF, Benny Camp. Um, so shout out to, you know, BSF and Benny and all of them over there. And Fugo Bass is from Connecticut. So shout out to up north, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he got albums called uh, Tell My Mama I'm a Rapper. <laughs> I like that title. Uh, Say That, another album. And Biggest Since Cammy. Biggest Since Cammy is his latest with uh, the BSF camp. And like I said, shout out to Benny and everybody over there. Shout out to, you know, Griselda. Shout out to the Trust Gang. Shout out to all these groups. Shout out to Ido and his posse. Shout out to, you know, Lee Lord and his, his posse over there. But shout out to all these artists that I discovered years ago that are introducing us to newer artists. They're not just like, I'm selfish, I'm going to put out myself, my stuff, my stuff. They're like building families. And uh, I like where hip hop is going, especially where the underground hip hop is going. People say, oh, hip hop is this. Nah, man, not for me. Yo, when people say, oh, hip hop is there, hip hop is trash now, or hip hop is too, you know, twerk, twerk like, or booty dancing music, or whatever it is, right? I'm like, what music y'all listening to? But I keep forgetting. When they say rap music, they talk about the industry. F the industry, man. Follow me, man. Follow me. Follow me and watch the THHC podcast, the Hip Hop Got a Soul podcast. Follow me when I'm reviewing all these artists. You know, I got various artists that I have discovered. And I can't wait to discover more. 2024 is coming. And if I hadn't, haven't said your name, put your name in the comments if you're an artist. That's all I'm saying. Yo, remember love over hate. I'm out of here, man. Peace out. <laughs>